Hello everyone. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I tend to make uh, solutions to some common problems that don't seem to have a simple answer. Uh, this video is about a DI2 battery holder for Cannondale 25.4 millimeter seat posts. Now, the typical battery is this little guy that slips inside your seat post and if you don't have a DI2 specific seat post which will have an extra metal ring down here that the sleeve and circlip goes into to hold it then your only option is really to wrap this thing with foam or some other hokey material that will eventually fail to hold it in. So what I came up with is a holder that basically is a compression fitting that holds on to the recess areas of the battery and then this whole assembly then inserts up inside the seat post tube and locks in tightly. Now to put the battery holder on the battery, you simply are inserting the battery up into the holder until you hit the recess clip. Now I should point out that there's a recessed area where the circlip usually is on the battery and there's one inside the holder. So when we go up, we're hitting that. When we slide it in, we're hitting that and we just have to spread the battery holder a little bit until it slips over and grabs a hold of that lip. At this point, the battery is in firmly and it can't pull out of the holder. Now you can take the entire battery assembly and slowly squeeze it and insert it into the seat post tube. Now this will get snug, especially when you get to the end, it'll get pretty tight. And once it's in there, it's now in there firmly. You cannot just take it out by hand. It's, it's, I mean, you could probably try to rip your fingernails off to get it out, but the bottom line is to pull this out, there's an actual design for doing this. You use a pair of pliers. There's a flat recess area on each side, and the easy way to remove the battery is just to gently grip this and twist while slightly pulling on the tube until you have it out, just a little bit, a half inch or so. At this point, you can grab the battery and just pull it out and extract it the rest of the way and you'll see the splines expand again. So it's a simple friction fitting to insert this inside of the seat post tube. Now taking the battery back out of the holder is basically a reverse of the process. What you're basically doing is spreading the holder to get it over the lip and then the battery will slip back out of the holder. Now another thing I should mention is that there's two typical seat posts you get with Cannondale bikes. First is the FSA SLK seat post tube. The other one is the Cannondale C2 seat post tube. Now, outside dimensions are identical. They're both 25.4 millimeter seat posts, but the inside dimensions, the wall thickness is different between the two. So whereas one is 20 millimeter inside dimension, the other one is only 19 millimeters. I made two different holders for these types of applications. Now once you have your battery inserted into your seat post tube, it's really just a matter of connecting your battery to the seat, to the connector, your wire that's inside your frame, and then slipping your saddle back down into your frame. So really not much more to it than that. Once it's together, you just charge things and do things like you would normally do with your DI2 process. But this is a quick solution for all of the Cannondale bikes these days. If you didn't already order it with DI2 and you're trying to retrofit DI2 and you've got a non-DI2 specific seat post, this will help you out. Hope you guys found this useful and I hope it solved a problem for those of you with these small seat posts.